everyone. It's Saturday morning. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Yes, I'm walking the dogs. Here they are, getting all excited. Yes. Um, I'm going to take you along a typical Saturday. Actually, not typical, because what happened is as I was working on my staircase for the last, I don't know, six weekends or so, I absolutely let the house go. So I have to do some major cleaning. I have my in-laws coming over next week for just overnight. I need to uh, re-clean the guest bedroom because we made new beds. I have to clean the second floor, the office, kitchen, living room, dining room, whatever. So I'm just going to take you along my regular Saturday. I'm walking the dogs right now. I'm going to do that for another 15 minutes. Then I have to go to my Weight Watchers meeting and I'll probably do a little bit of shopping. So I'm going to take you along with me. Well, so it's uh, 8.56. I'm going to my meeting, my Weight Watchers meeting. And to be honest with you, that's the gauge telling me I need fuel. Um, I don't feel I've lost any weight at all this week, even though I kept on track. There was two days where I did not track my food, but I pretty much ate the same thing that I would usually eat. I may have been off by one or two points, but I don't know. I just, I just don't feel that there was any progress. So today is week five. I'm going to go do that. Um, probably show you around as I'm driving. I hope you enjoyed this kind of videos. I know that there's a lot of you. Uh, YouTubers out there who do this kind of video. I love watching them. I love watching where other people live, the town, the places they go. So I'm just going to do that today. I just want to say one thing real quick about um, the cleaning of the house. You always tell me that I'm super organized and super clean and all of that. And I have to tell you, it is my great challenge. That's the name of the blog. I have the hardest time keeping things clean. I could spend literally 12 hours nonstop cleaning one room and make it impeccable. And then I don't touch it for two months, pretty much. Or it just gets completely destroyed within two days. That's usually the case with the living room, the bathrooms, things like that. So high traffic areas, I don't know. I'm good at staging, I guess, but I'm really not good at keeping up and I'm tired of it. destination and of course I'm way early and I'm really sorry the weather is not the best to do this kind of video I really wish I had had beautiful skies to show you but I hope you enjoyed the little ride it's not too far we're about I don't know 10 minutes away from uh, the meeting place there is a meeting closer um, in my town but I like coming to this one because there's a marshal next door and that's exactly where I'm going after yeah I made it a habit you see it's so easy to create new habits you go to Weight Watchers there's a marshal next to it um, and you go spend money on needless things just because it's at a discount price whatever I do need um, some office supply things like you know like little organization things and then couple of candles maybe for the guest bedroom something like that I don't know I'm not sure I got to check it out but anyway I'm gonna continue sipping on my little smoothie here because Weight Watchers uh, is not starting until 9 30 and it's basically 9 11 right now I have a little bit of time though I don't want to put too much in my stomach because that's gonna go on the scale all right I'm going to my meeting let's see how much weight I lost this week Wow, um, so I just came back from my meeting and I gotta be honest, I didn't think I'd lost anything and I did and you're gonna have to watch my next video to find out but let's just say I lost 5% of my original weight and I'm super happy. So right now I'm uh, gonna walk around and then go to Marshalls. I'm gonna try to take you along with me and then back to the house for cleaning.
with Marshalls and I bought a few things. I'm going to show you those things when I get to the house. Um, I've decided not to go to Sally Beauty only because, I don't know, I don't really need anything. I was looking for, um, what you call it, China Glaze nail polish, but I got too many nail polish. I'm not going to buy any. Alright, so I'll see you at the house. Well, I'm back home. I'm going to have some breakfast. I'm going to make me some uh, poached eggs and look at the state of the kitchen. Can you believe this? Yeah, before I do anything today, I have to do this. It's a disaster. That's right, I have a normal house. We get busy, we don't clean as much as we should. You wanna go to bed? Okay, see you later. I don't know where the other guy is, but anyway, I gotta do all of this. It does look much better. I uh, took about 35 minutes all together. Even the floor has been mopped. Now, <laughs> my big girl right there doesn't want to come out because the floor is a little tiny bit wet, but I have that, um, and I'm all sweaty. I have uh, that Bella Casa um, mop, and I have to say that when you mop with it, it almost instantly dries. That's the reason why I keep my shoes on, and uh, I really like this mop. It's a little bit expensive, but you know, got it at Bed Bath & Beyond, well worth the investment. So now we're back to normal in the kitchen. You just wait until you see the mess I left on the second floor after doing the staircase and building beds. Yeah, I built beds. Yeah, okay. I didn't do a video on that because it was not, you know, all that important. But um, I'm going to show you furniture I found on the street. <laughs> I live in a, a, a town that every month they have bulk day and people just throw away furniture all the time. I found sofas, dining room tables, chairs, uh, bookcases, what else did I find? Uh, dresses, dresses with mirrors. So for the guest bedroom I found a huge, and I posted that on my Facebook page, a huge dresser with a mirror and I also found two twin size bed, headboard and footboard and I can't wait to paint them. The way I'm gonna show them to you right now is the way I found them. They are in 100% solid oak, I guess that's what you call it, with kind of like a sheen on it, but they're going to be painted um, in white with, what do they call it, chalk paint, I guess. I'll show you when I get upstairs. I can finally show you the stuff I got at Marshall's. 
it was just a little bit under fifty dollars um which is all right for the amount of stuff i got so for the guest bedroom i got this terra i'm not sure conservation range fragrance oil natural diffuser reed with glass decanter and the smell is revived with lime and sandalwood and this was on clearance for eight dollars um it did it looked like it had been open already but i looked in it and the glass jar is still there and then everything else is in there as well so i'll show you this stuff once it's set up and then because the in-laws are coming um you know I always do a little basket of goodies and then they can either take it with them or they leave it here and that's just extra stuff for me there's this uh, coconut hand cream by coco magic um multi-taking no multitasking miracle ingredient it smells delicious this was only $3.99 really like it it's a good size i tried it in the store nice nice hand cream and then i got this scottish fine soaps bohem body cream and this one is super thick so this is supposed to be their signature scent and i believe it has a um a little stopper no does it i don't know yeah it does so i don't know what it smells like but i like the scottish fine soaps company and that's just a body cream and then my mother-in-law's first name is julia so i got this castle bell soap uh tea rose smells wonderful it's got a little j on it she can take it with her or leave it here it doesn't really matter and then i got the soap was mm -hmm, 3.99 okay then I ran out of my uh, rose water spray for linen, so I found this one from Hobo Company and Sons. And I use those all the time, and this one was $3.99. And then I think I showed these in my little video of Marshalls. This one was uh, 16 something, that's the Cynthia Raleigh um, little silk and beads. You see the pattern, it's got a chevron bead uh, pattern on it. Little pillow, it's just for decor on the white chair, and then this one right here that I'm not sure if it's silk or not, but this one was um, on clearance at 12, but I had a, uh, um, I don't know, there was a further clearance. I think I only paid like $5 for this, I think. I can't even remember. I don't know who the brand is. It doesn't have a brand. I'm sorry, it's a white cream. I like pillows that have the little zipper because I can wash them. So that's the stuff I got at Marshalls. Hi, so I'm on the second floor and I'm about to show you the absolute disaster, the big mess, the big chaos I created over the last, I don't know, three weeks, I guess. Um, yeah, you ready for this? So look at that. First of all, I had to move the furniture up, you know, the stuff I found. So all of the baskets that were on the staircase landed here. And of course, you know, when you got kids, so they see baskets, they dump stuff in it. So I got to clean all of this. Then I have the rest of my supplies here for the staircase that I finished. That's right here, but you'll have to see the video to get to see the end result. Air conditioning that was upstairs, brought it down. I'm waiting for my husband to bring it to the garage. There's more, there's more tools here, more stuff here. So all of this stuff I got to clean today, right? And kind of, you know, make this presentable. And look at the mess I created in the guest bedroom. You remember my guest bedroom that was absolutely gorgeous? Well, look at this, all right? So I have to explain what's going on here. And you can't really see it. But first of all, I found this huge piece of furniture on the street. Yes, I did. And it's almost brand new if it wasn't for a couple of the handles that are broken but can be easily uh, fixed. I have to clean all of this. And you wonder why is there so many tools there, right? Well, it's because I found this headboard, number one and number two, and footboards on the streets as well. And you see the wood on the floor? That's because we had to recreate the frame for those footboard and headboard. And let me tell you, that stuff is not moving. So what's going on here is that we have a cheap, really, really cheap, frame from Walmart that was holding the mattresses that I had purchased for the guest bedroom, right? And then these headboards didn't come with brackets. They came apparently originally with those bars, but those bars had been removed when they dumped the, uh, the headboard and footboard. So we had to recreate that. 
But that being said, even though you recreate this, that doesn't mean that it's attached to the frame because that's not a frame that comes with this. You get the point? So we had to kind of figure out a way, I'm going to show you on the back here, how to redo, uh, how to affix the headboard and the footboard to the frame. So instead of having the regular um, anchors here to the frame, the frame would stop here, the mattress would be on top of it. Put a piece of wood here, went through it, uh, I don't know if you can see, with carriage bolts, and then did the same thing here with carriage bolt going directly into it, right? You get the point, okay? Here's the one over there. So I basically have to redo everything in here. See the mess? And it's super hot. <laughs> it's really, really hot. So I'm going to start with sweeping only because I don't want to track sawdust all over the place. Then I have to clean everything, put the beds back in place. I have to make the beds, probably wash the linen, and uh, I have a piece of furniture, the white dresser that used to be here, that's got to go. Anyway, I got my work cut out for me. Well, it's starting to look like something. Um, at least I have most of this area here. Put back together, I got the hubby helping here. Hello, say hello. Oh, would you stop it? <laughs> You're not fun. Bonjour. Uh, Comment allez-vous? Ça va bien. Hey, how do you like the stairs? They look nice. I was asking you that. Oh, so me. I'm not in this episode. No, you're not. I, I, <laughs> think, I think it's one of the first ones I'm in. No, you've been there before. Hey, so how do you like the stairs? I like the stairs. I like the, the color of the wood. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Uh, it has a nice shine to it. And uh, I think it looks very tasteful. Okay. So, our viewers have been asking, how do you feel about me doing all this work? How do I feel about you doing all this work? Yeah, all my crazy projects. <laughs> For those of you that do not know, actually, he worked on a video where it's like he goes out of this house and like there's a bunch of stuff from Star Wars all over there. You should oh, yeah? check it out. The name of the video is Leaked Verona. Okay, well, I'll put a link. So, <laughs> what was the question? How do you feel about me doing all those crazy, insane projects? Uh, yeah. I, I like it, I like it, but I think it's a little bit uh, on the manic side, you know? I mean, sometimes I want to just have a weekend where we just slow down and chill oh, out. <coughs> yeah. Oh, excuse me, that was me choking on the yeah. wee part. <laughs> Listen, a lot of this stuff you've been doing while I was at work anyway. Okay, it's true. All right? In all fairness, I had to teach on the weekends. Which meant that, you know, you were, I would come home and surprise, this has been done. <laughs> right? But he loves it. Well, I'm getting tired and it's hot in here. It's 2.20. Um, I didn't have lunch yet. The kids had lunch, but not me. So I'm going to stop where I'm at. I'm going to go and have lunch. Just want to give you a quick look. This is where I'm at so far. So I moved the piece of furniture right here. It's right there right now. I don't know what to do with it. I may actually do what everybody else in town does, which is get rid of it, because I really don't need it. But anyway, so yeah, it's starting to look a little bit better. That bed over there is made. I had clean linen, so I put those instead. This one, I got to check. And then over here, it's all been pretty much um, decluttered yeah, and swept. So all I have to do is make the bed. And then I have to dust real quick and set up, you know, whatever I need for guests, close the door, and I'm done. Okay? And then I have to do the rest of the nonsense that's over here. I don't know. I don't know why I do that to myself. I probably I'm not the only one, but man, if only I could figure out a way to maintain this home, I wouldn't have to spend Saturdays to clean it. Um, I don't know. I don't have... I have not acquired that skill yet. So it's 3.30 in the afternoon and uh, I took a good break, I can't complain, but I still have a lot to do. So uh, just to recap, and we have sunshine now, I still have to make this bed. I did move the furniture, I put it in the kids room right there, it looks totally ridiculous, but it's only because I needed it to be out of the way. Eventually it's either going to go down to the basement or on the sidewalk. It's an old piece that I painted a gazillion time. It's actually not very practical. The uh, um, um, the closet that's on the side I never used and then the drawers are very narrow. Um, that was the original changing table for the kids I guess. 
yeah that's what it was so anyway so I still have to do all of this stuff right here right and then I have to give a good sweep change the sheets in the kids bedroom finish this right here and uh, I guess I'll be done for the day I'm um, yeah I'm really running out of steam um, but I gotta finish this because next weekend is the weekend before we have guests and I want to do like the first floor and just do like the regular you know mopping the floor dusting things like that grocery shopping what not okay a lot of work 
but it's done. Check it out. Here's the guest bedroom. It's finally back in order. Clean linen. Everything's been sprayed and nice. Everything's been dusted. I'm loving the little cushion over there because the sun gets on the beads and it gives a little bit of, um, I don't know, uh, sparkle, I guess. Love it. And then I have this all dusted and nice. My little basket for the guest is ready. I have my little, uh, what you call it, reed diffuser. By the way, this smells wonderful. Love it. And that's pretty much it. So from the other side, this is what it looks like. Right? It's good to be a guest at my house, for sure. All right, the only thing I need to do, we got magazines here, um, is probably put a couple of little, you know, heart candies, something like that in there, and that will be it, okay? All right, and then on the second floor, uh, I have to take the mop down, two glasses that I need to uh, bring downstairs, I still have the air conditioner here, but pretty much this is done. Hoping you remember what it looked like before, right? And then you saw me clean this, and the bathroom is all clean as well. I gotta drain the tub because I used it for the mop. All right, I still have to mop this, and I'm done for the day. Um, right, so tonight is probably movie night. I'm not gonna take you along for that. I think the video is probably gonna be over 40 minutes already. Thank you for sticking by me. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. I hope you enjoyed it. I love watching people clean. I hope you do too. Um, you know, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if there's something, you know, a question or you want to make a comment, whatever. I appreciate your comment. I do my very best to respond to every single one of them. All right. This was Sophia for my great challenge.blogspot.com. Very tired and deserving a huge break. Bye. Thanks for watching, you guys.